Nature isn't just around us, it's deeply integrated into every aspect of our lives. It's in the air we breathe, the food we eat, and even in the landscapes that shape our cities. But as our urban spaces expand, we sometimes lose sight of this vital connection. Yet, staying rooted in our natural environment isn't just nostalgic, it's essential. It's about recognizing that our well-being is intertwined with the health of our ecosystems. And that's where sustainable building practices come into play. They're not just about erecting structures, but about sustainability as the need of the hour. Imagine over 5.3 billion square feet of green space. A staggering figure, isn't it? Now, picture these buildings as catalysts for change. They're reducing energy consumption by up to 40%, with a significant portion of their energy sourced renewably. By 2030, they're projected to slash carbon emissions by 33-35%, to 35%, setting a precedent for eco-friendly urban development. But these numbers aren't just statistics. It's about designing cities that work with nature, not against it. By using smarter materials and thoughtful designs, we're creating spaces that enhance our lives while safeguarding the natural world around us. Every year, the global construction industry contributes nearly 40% of carbon emissions, driven by the relentless demand for raw materials like timber, steel, and concrete. This appetite fuels deforestation, exacerbates water scarcity, and generates staggering amounts of waste. In India alone, construction activities churn out a colossal 530 million tons of waste annually, equivalent to double the weight of all household waste produced nationwide. This debris could fill 200,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But the environmental toll extends beyond mere waste. Construction operations account for 22% of particulate matter emissions, rivaling the exhaust from every vehicle traversing Indian roads. With the sector responsible for 30% of the nation's carbon emissions, its impact parallels that of traditional biomass use in over 500 million Indian households. Imagine a new office building rising in the heart of the city, a beacon of progress and innovation. Now, traditionally, this would mean truckloads of steel and concrete, each contributing to carbon emissions and waste. But what if we could build this differently? Let's start with the steel. Instead of sourcing entirely new steel, which comes with a hefty environmental price tag, we opt for recycled steel. Did you know that using recycled steel can reduce carbon emissions by up to 60% compared to using virgin steel? That's a significant reduction. Without this choice, producing new steel would have emitted over 2.5 tons of CO2 per ton of steel produced, contributing heavily to global emissions. Next, consider the concrete. Conventional concrete production emits about 1 ton of CO2 for every ton of cement produced. By incorporating eco-friendly alternatives like geopolymer concrete or using supplementary cementitious materials, we can cut down on these emissions by up to 35%. That's like removing thousands of cars from the road each year. Without these innovations, the environmental impact of our building's construction would have been much higher, contributing significantly to air pollution and climate change. And let's not forget about the building materials themselves. By choosing locally sourced materials like rammed earth for some of the walls, we not only reduce transportation emissions but also enhance thermal insulation, cutting down on energy consumption for heating and cooling. Rammed earth construction typically reduces embodied energy by up to 30% compared to conventional materials. So, in the end, what seemed like just another office building becomes a testament to sustainable construction practices. By making these choices, recycled steel, eco-friendly concrete, locally sourced materials, we've reduced our carbon footprint by over 40%. This isn't just about building a structure, it's about building responsibly, ensuring that our cities grow in harmony with our planet. But it's not just about the materials themselves, it's also about how they are used. Indian companies are setting remarkable benchmarks in sustainability through their projects by integrating innovative technologies, adopting eco-friendly practices, and prioritizing environmental conservation. Let's look at some examples. Cislon One Earth, Pune, this lead platinum and five-star Griha certified building features daylight optimization, renewable energy integration, water recycling, and an innovative design inspired by vernacular architecture. 
Sorabji Godrej Green Business Center, Hyderabad, the first LEED Platinum certified building in India, showcasing energy efficient design, rooftop gardens, water conservation measures, and passive cooling strategies. ITC Grand Chola, Chennai, a LEED Platinum certified hotel that utilizes renewable energy, recycles water, and contributes to the local ecosystem. Hyderabad Gandhi International Airport, emphasizing sustainable landscaping and water conservation with features like green walls and rainwater harvesting. Action for Social Advancement, ASA, Head Office, Bhopal, focuses on ecological principles with wetland creation, passive cooling strategies, and solar PV panel systems. Infinity Benchmark, Kolkata, a platinum-rated building with energy-efficient design, insulation from heat gain, rainwater harvesting, and electric car charging points. Infosys Campus, Mysuru, lead platinum certified with deep retrofits, energy-efficient systems, and enhanced occupant comfort. Indira Paryavaran Bhavan, Delhi, Dre 5 Star and LEED Platinum certified with net zero energy consumption, water recycling, and energy efficient design. Godrej Plant 13 Annex, Mumbai, achieves net zero energy rating with solar rooftop panels, energy efficient systems, and enhanced employee comfort. Cisco Smart Campus, Bangalore, LEED Platinum certified, emphasizing cycling facilities, waste diversion, and renewable material usage. As the construction industry continues to shape the landscapes of our cities and communities, it must embrace a more sustainable path forward, one that prioritizes the health of our planet and the well-being of future generations. We will be covering more insightful topics like this in our future CW Explain videos. Make sure to subscribe to us and be among the first ones to know about our new videos.